Well, hello there, Faith Pocatello um, Daily here, but it's Monday, December 5th, 2022. We're just diving into December, aren't we? So lots of busyness, but I hope you find rest and peace and you enjoy Jesus throughout this season. Uh, all the time, but certainly through the season. Numbers 10, verse 10, 10, 10. Do you remember that old, uh, <laughs> in fact, rotary phones and whatnot, but 10, 10, 3, 2, 1, right? If you dialed that first and then your number, you got savings on your long distance. Okay, sorry. So every time I hear 10, 10, I think 3, 2, 1 automatically. A little insight into my brain, I apologize. So numbers 10, verse 10. On the day of your gladness also, and at your appointed feast, and at the beginnings of your months, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings. They shall be a reminder of you before your God. I am the Lord, your God. So here's the thing. 84 times in the Old Testament, peace offering is mentioned. And so we need to understand that there is this idea of an offering of peace. And ultimately, we see in this, in this season that God offered his son as a peace offering for us. In the past, right, we were trying to make peace with God. We would offer uh, sacrifices as the Israelites would hear. They would offer, you know, turtle doves and different different things to offer a peace offering to God. It was a sacrifice to them. And it still wasn't sufficient to maintain peace with God. So what did God do? He's like, I want something permanent. So he sent Jesus Christ and he himself was the wrath appeasing sacrifice, the lamb of God who takes away the world of the sin and so, uh, a world of sin. And so now we know that because of Jesus Christ, there's a finality of peace offering that has been made on our behalf. And we have the joy of receiving it. Listen, you are at peace with God because of the work of Jesus Christ not for any other reason. So may we rejoice in that today. May God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.